What's good y'all, it's Solution, back at it with another Mental Gym video in which I give you guys mental exercises you can use to become extremely successful and accomplish all the goals that you are after. So let's get right into it. So today I have a very important mental exercise to talk about and that is communication. And why I believe communication is so valuable is because if you are better at communicating, it means you are better at getting information that can do what? Help you achieve your goals. And the definition I came up with for communication in the context of achieving your goals is consistently exchanging information with someone who can help you achieve your goals. The key thing here is consistently. That is what makes communication so very, very, very important. Because the thing is, like when you're learning a skill and you're trying to improve that skill, what do you have to do? You have to consistently train that skill in order to see progress with it so you can get better. And with getting better, that will help you achieve whatever goal that you are after for whatever path of goal achievement that you are on. But in the same way, sometimes we lack information and we need knowledge or we need to know about something to help us get somewhere. So in order to always be in the know or know things that are valuable to us, we have to do what? We have to consistently communicate. We can't just communicate once here and then not communicate at all. And what I mean by communicate, I mean communicate with someone who can help you achieve your goals, obviously. And that could be for an organization, a business owner, a coach, just for whatever path of goal achievement you're on, whoever you need to talk to or whoever you can talk to that can help you achieve your goals, you need to be communicating with that person consistently so you can consistently get information that will serve you. Because a mistake that I have made in the past is not consistently communicating because back in the day when I wanted to go D1 for soccer, or I was trying to get to a D1 school for soccer, I had to email like a ton of coaches because obviously they could help me get what I wanted, which was to play D1 soccer. So I was emailing a ton of coaches, but a mistake that I was making is that I was not communicating consistently enough. Like I'd send an email, we talk, and then I wouldn't talk to them for two weeks, um, a week or three weeks or four weeks or whatever. Like I was not consistently communicating because the thing with consistency just because I would communicate with them in different time intervals, it didn't make it consistent. It wasn't like week by week by week, which I should have been doing because the reason why this affected me a lot is because I want to communicate to a coach for two weeks and I'd hit them up and they'd be like, yeah, we're not really that interested in you anymore. Or mm, yeah, we kind of moved on with another player or whatever. Like they're not going to be the, cause I'm the one who wants the thing from them, right? they're not going to go reach out to me to tell me they don't want me anymore or they're not interested in me anymore. They're just going to go find somebody else to talk to, right? They're just going to start talking to other people and not care about me or whatever. And that was my fault because I was not consistently communicating with them. Because whereas, let's say I had been consistently communicating with these coaches, like week by week basis, I would have been able to tell or know like, hey, we're not that interested in you or hey, yeah, we're kind of moving on with another player or hey, we are really interested in you. We're doing this, this and this for you right now. Like information would have been flowing into me, which would have given me clarity. And the biggest, most important thing that I love about communication when you do it consistently is you are able to move faster to wherever you're trying to go, wherever you're trying to go for whatever goals you're trying to achieve. Because when you do not communicate a lot and things are not clear, it becomes a lot harder to actually get the shit that you want. But when you're doing it consistently, you always know what is going on. You then have clarity and then you know what actions you need to take. So getting into the mental exercise, the first part of this that's really important is prep. So it's not just about yapping. It's not just about hitting up someone who can help you achieve your goals or whatever. You need to also prep when you're going to talk to them right? Like you need to know exactly what questions you're going to ask to whoever you're hitting up or talking to. And the reason why this is important is because it's an efficient use of your time and it's an efficient use of their time. Because if you already come in, know what questions you're going to ask, know what information you, are, you need and know what you are currently confused about that you're going to ask about, you make it easier for everyone. Because you come in, you're like, hey, this is what is my issues, this is what I'm concerned about. They're like, okay, cool, this is what you're concerned about, these are the issues you have, we can figure this all out, this is what you need to do, this is what I know, blah, 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 blah. Boom, you get the clarity that you want, then with that clarity, of course, you can move accordingly. 
which is what you want. The important thing about communication is clarity. It's the clarity and with clarity comes speed. When you know exactly what you need to do, you can do it faster. But when things are complex, confusing, when you don't know what's going on, you don't know what to do. Like for me, in the previous example I just gave, for me, I didn't know what was going on with one of these coaches, but since I didn't communicate efficiently enough, I was stuck pretty much doing nothing. When I could have moved on, started talking to another coach because this one coach wasn't interested in me any interested in me anymore. But I didn't know that because I didn't communicate consistently. So right, so you want to prep. You need to know exactly what you're going to ask. You need to know the premise of the conversation. So you have to know know what you want. You should always know because think about it. This is game time. This is not like casual conversation with your homies or friends. This is game time. You are here on business when you're talking to this person who can help you achieve your goals. Obviously, you be cordial. You're like, hey, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. You guys get that stuff. I hope. Obviously, make sure you, it's human to human. You're like, hey, how are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Take care of that stuff. But you know why you are here. And you guys both should know why you are having a conversation or why you are communicating with each other, of course. So when you before you communicate with anyone, know what you want, whether it be organizations, business owners, coaches, other random people who can help you achieve your goals, whatever. Know what you want and make it very clear by asking the questions like, hey, this is what I'm curious about. Can you help me with this? Or do you know what's going on with this? Or can you give me updates on these things? Because this is where I'm confused. This is where I lack clarity. You want to completely remove that uneasy feeling that you have when you communicate with other people. Like you do not want that feeling at all because that shows a lack of clarity. And that means you cannot move as fast as you need to, right? Cool. So make sure you prep before every single conversation. And when you have your next conversation, which leads me to the next mental exercise, or when you have the conversation after you prep for one or the next part of the mental exercise, you need to make sure there is an open loop. So what do I mean by open loop? Basically, you should always know when you are talking to the person next. So when you have a conversation with someone who can help you achieve your goals, you need to schedule in that conversation when you are going to talk to them next. So let's say you talk to someone, you call them, email, whatever it is. You're like, hey, blah, 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 blah. You guys have your conversation about whatever you're curious about or whatever you need to know about. Then at the end of the conversation, you don't just say, okay, cool. Talk to you soon or okay, cool. Sounds good. Move on. Nope. You're like, Hey, okay, cool. We'll talk to you on Tuesday. We'll talk to you on Thursday. We'll talk to you seven days from now. We'll talk to you six days from now. We'll talk to you three days from now. Whatever way you want to say it, there needs to be a specific day or time, and you could be as specific as possible. Be as specific as possible if you need to. Saturday at three. At Saturday at three, I will talk, I will call you, I will text you. The more specific you can be, the better. But if it's something like kind of a more cordial thing, but like you can't give them a specific date or time, but you know you need to talk to them, it's like, I will talk to you Saturday, but you should know when you are going to talk to them next. This is what creates the open loop, which leads to the consistency, which is the key thing here to get the clarity and always be in the know and always be informed so you know what you need to be doing in regards to your goals. You create the open loop by, okay, we talk, Next time, and then you create the time the next time you talk, you talk, you create the next time you talk, and it just keeps going in a loop like that. As long as the person can help you achieve whatever your goals are, it just keeps going in a loop, right? So always schedule, so always know when you are talking next. Always know when you are talking next this is very super duper as i was just explaining very important because as i've said a mistake that i was making is i didn't know when i was talking to these important people in regards to my goals next and because of that i lacked clarity and information and because of that i was moving slower when people were already moving on for me this coach didn't want me anymore I had waited too long to communicate because I didn't know. I just randomly 
decided like, hey, I haven't talked to this person in a while. Let me hit him up. And then he was like, oh, yeah, we moved on and started talking to other players. We're not interested in you anymore. And I could have known. And he probably knew that that coach probably knew that three days ago, four days ago, five days ago. But I had wasted basically five days of doing nothing because I thought this coach had my best interest in mind. Obviously, the coach has every right to not want you. This makes sense. Clearly, everyone is able to do whatever they want. But my point is, I could have put myself in the know sooner by actually having a consistent communication cadence and been like, okay, cool. He doesn't want me. Let me go talk to somebody else. Let me go start that conversation. Let me go do this thing. And then you can move faster. When these communication cadences are not consistent and they're very big, you will move slower because this is whoever this is for you, you probably have an idea of who this entity is that is going to help you achieve your goals for whoever this is you need to be consistently communicating with this person because this person is not always going to be thinking about you they have their own lives own stuff going on so they might realize oh I forgot about that guy oh not worried about him so you need to make sure the communication you know when you're going to talk to them next so you are always in the know so you can make the right moves fast i do not want to allow you guys to move slow that's what holds a lot of guys back and has held me back from being extremely successful and achieving my goals, moving slow. I don't want you guys to move slow. I want you guys to move with urgency. So I want you guys to be talking to the people who can help you achieve your goals consistently. Make sure there's an open loop. Always know when you're talking to the person next. In every single conversation you have with someone who could help you achieve your goals, always know when you are going to talk to them next. Never end a conversation not knowing when you're going to talk to the person again. Always know. Ask them. Even, even if they might not know, always either you give them a range or they ask you and they tell you when they're free. And then you tell them, okay, I will call you that time. But obviously, I would hope you guys are making time to talk to the people who are helping you achieve your goals and you're not being distracted. So, yeah, going over it one last time. Communication is consistently exchanging information with someone who can help you achieve your goals. Key thing here is consistency, guys. But before every conversation, make sure you prep. So know what you want before you talk. Don't just talk be like, hey, what's, what's going on? No, that's not, it's not beneficial and it's not efficient for your time to just be like, hey, what's up? Or hey, what's going on? Uh, blah, blah, blah. No, you should know what is going on. So like, or not, you should know what's going on. You should know what you're confused about. You should know what question you have. Like, hey, how's this going? Hey, what is going on with this? Hey, the last time we talked, you said this. How is that going now? What is that looking like now? Making this clear and obvious when you ask these questions leads to clarity, which helps you. But make sure before every conversation you prep. I'm telling you this will go a long way in improving how well you use your time and how quickly you are getting information that can help you move faster. So prep. And then once you've prepped, have the conversation, now you need to make sure there's an open loop at the end of the conversation. By open loop, I mean you always know when you are talking next. You always know. You always know. You schedule the next time you talk within the current car at the end of the current conversation so if you talk to the homie today or whoever the person is today you're like hey okay we'll talk to you on saturday we'll talk to you in the next three days we'll update you in the next seven days and then of course you keep your promise you hit them up you talk to them which i really hope you guys do because you guys care about achieving your goals so when if you say you're going to talk to someone who can help you achieve your goals in the next seven days you do it in the next three days, you do it. Because if you make that promise to someone and you do not keep that promise, they are not going to trust you. Meaning they're not gonna be as willing to help you because they feel like you're an untrustworthy person. This is big no-no, this is big bad. Do not do this. So yeah, prep, open, loop. So yeah, that's pretty much my communication mental exercise. Please give me feedback on this. Did this make sense? Did I communicate this in a simple way that makes sense? Or you're like, okay, cool. Make sure I always prep to know what I'm going to say. And then I create that open loop so I know I'm going to talk to the person next and I could get my information efficiently. Or tell me, you're like, hmm, you could have explained this better, used examples here, could have said this, could have wrote this way, could have done this, could have added this. Whatever you need to say, drop it all down in the comments 
so I can be a better YouTuber, create better mental exercises that better serve you guys and increase the likelihood that you achieve your, achieve your goals and become extremely successful. And if you liked it, please, please, please like the video, boost us in the algorithm so more guys can see this and make sure they are communicating in a way that is effective for them so they're getting the information that they need to become successful. And with that being said, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next mental gym video. Peace.